Texas Governor Greg Abbott taking the border crisis into his own hands. Now directing state law enforcement to start arresting illegal immigrants for trespassing. National Border Council President Brandon Judd joins us now to react. Brandon? Hey, Brandon, good morning. Good Hi, morning. Rachel, how are you? So tell us what this will do. I mean, you're now the state of Texas is going to arrest people. Do you think this will solve the problem? Is it enough? Uh, it's not going to solve the problem, but you have to, there, there's two things that you have to look at. You have to be ecstatic that a governor is stepping up and doing the job that the federal government isn't doing. He's stepping up and he's going to deliver a consequence. He's going to take a, a, a page out of the Trump playbook and he's going to deliver a consequence for those people that are crossing the border illegally. But you have to be extremely upset that this governor is doing the job of the federal government. The Biden administration refuses to protect the American public by giving the resources to the border patrol that is necessary for us to secure the border. You know, as we go out and we, and we put the uniform on as we, we patrol the border, if we don't have an administration that is backing us up, that is giving us those resources, then you're going to see this crisis continue to, to get bigger. But Governor, Governor Abbott stepping up, it's going to help Texas, but it's likely to push the illegal immigration to states like New Mexico, right. Arizona, and California. Yeah, it's like a balloon. Right? Hey, really quickly, Brandon, out of curiosity, Curiosity. So trespassing seems like an obvious charge. I'm sure it's one that can stick. Can Border Patrol enforce that? Does that have to be through state authorities, these special task force? Because that's a state crime. A federal law enforcement agency wouldn't be making those arrests, right? Or passing yeah, them no, along. That's gonna, it's going to have to be uh, by the state. The, the federal right. government can't enforce uh, state laws. So the, the state's going to have to step in and they're going to do it. And, and that's exactly what Governor Abbott is, in fact, right. doing. Right. Uh, are there, is there a capacity? I mean, do they have the capacity to do this? So when we see all these images on the border of, of, of Border Patrol agents bring, dealing with migrants, uh, they're, they're not going to be charged with trespassing there. It's the ones that get through. Yeah, no, it's going to have to be those individuals that are taken into custody by the state. So the, the people that are taken into custody by the Border Patrol, they're not going to be turned around and charged by the state. So when Texas hmm. DPS or when a county sheriff takes somebody that crosses the border illegally into custody, then they can charge those individuals with uh, criminal trespassing. And so, yeah, it. It, 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 right. it is it. a very good step so, in the right direction. Brandon, let me ask you something else. The uh, Biden administration said they want to do an infrastructure um, you know, bill, this huge trillion dollar bill that they want to do. However, they've stopped construction. It's one of the first things that Joe Biden did when he got into office. He stopped construction of an infrastructure project on the wall um, on the southern border. However, they're still paying $2 billion, I guess, to pay to, to fulfill the contract and tell people and tell those companies not. So they're paying to build for it. the wall that's yeah, not Yeah, they're being paying built. people not to work. Is that is that what's happening? Yeah. Yeah, it's crazy. Uh, to avoid litigation, the Biden administration is, in fact, paying these uh, contracting companies the money that, that they were scheduled to make, but they're just not doing any work for it. So, that, yeah, it's they're taking the American taxpayers' money, and they're just not getting anything out of it. More paying people not to work. That's exactly and, right. And, and uh, by the way, like, we don't have a problem at the border that we don't need a wall. Like, we're seeing 180,000 people come every month. Nope. That, you know, news, uh, unbelievable. Nope. This Brandon Judd. Outrageous story. Thank you for uh, breaking these down for us this morning. Thanks, Brandon. Thank you, Brandon. Thank you.